Today, we'll continue measures of center tendency. Okay, previous lesson, you have learned how to calculate median calculate mode by using formula. But today, we will construct OCHIF and histogram. So, from the OCHIF, you can estimate the median value. And from the histogram, you can estimate the model value. So, this one is very useful for estimation value based on group data. To construct OGIF, to construct histogram, of course, you need group data. So, we will use this example. Okay, now how to construct this table? Recall back what you have learned before. Do you still remember? Okay, so first step, look at this column and then focus on these values, 39 and 40, not same. So, you need to construct class boundary column. How to find the values? 39 plus 40 divided by 2. So, you got 39.5. 39.5. Both upper class boundary and next lower class boundary. Okay, next, how to calculate cumulative frequency? This one. How to calculate? Remember? Based on number of students. So, first value is 4. Same. 4. Next, plus 5. So, you got... 9 plus 9, you got 18. Until 47 plus 3, you got 50. Okay. So, how to calculate class boundary value? How to calculate cumulative frequency value? Is it easy? Yes. How we want to construct OGIF? So, first look at the general form of OGIF. This one. You need Y axis, X axis. So, X is class boundary. Y Cumulative frequency and this one OGIF line increasing. Okay, next step, look at the first point. This one. So, first point of class boundary F is always zero. Remember that first point of class boundary, which is first lower class boundary, cumulative frequency is zero. Next, look at the example. Identify class boundary is marks. Lower class boundary, upper class boundary. So, cumulative frequency is number of students. Next step, you need a piece of graph paper. Then, draw the line. Vertical line and horizontal line. X axis, Y axis. Okay, like that. <coughs> Title, X axis. Refer on class boundary. Y axis is cumulative frequency. Title, distribution of marks. Next step, how to plot the OGIF line? First point, this one. So first point, remember that first class boundary, which is lower class boundary, cumulative frequency is always zero. So this one, 29.5. Cumulative frequency is zero. Next point. So, next point here, 39.5 means that one is referred to upper class boundary values. So, 39.5, cumulative frequency is 4. Until last upper class boundary value, 99.5, the cumulative frequency is 50. Plot like this. Okay, next. What you need to do is connect one point to one point, like that. Okay, that one is OGIF line. Okay, that's the step by step how to construct OGIF for group data. Okay, now we want to know how to estimate median by using OGIF. So first step, of course, you need OGIF. Next, what you need to do is recall back what is median. Median is middle value. So middle value is based on position. Calculate position of median. So, position of median, n divided by 2. So, n. What is n? 50. So, 50 divided by 2. So, you got 25. So, 25 is based on number of students, which is cumulative frequency. So, find the value of 25 on y axis. So, 25 here. Okay. Next. 
what you need to do is to draw a line. Make sure the line touch the ogive line. Okay, next step, the intersection for these two lines here. Okay, draw the other line. Like that. So this one. Intersection point between this line and x-axis line. That one is median value. So median equal to 59.5. This one. Plus. So plus how many box? 5 box. So 5. Why 5? 1 box equal to 1 mark. Because the class size is 10. Equal to 64.5. So therefore, median is 64.5 based on OGIF. So how to interpret? 50% of students scored less than 64.5 marks. And another 50% scored more than 64.5. Next, how to construct histogram. Two information or two data that you must have. To construct histogram. So first one is class boundary. Second one is class frequency. So based on the example, marks is class boundary and number of students is class frequency. So now you can construct the histogram. But first, if you want to construct manually, you need graph paper. Okay. Next, focus on Class boundary value, x-axis, and then y-axis for class frequency. Put the axis values and the axis title, y and x. Next, you need to plot for each data, means plot row by row. Second data, second row. Third row, number four. And then frequency 10, frequency 5, frequency 3. So look at this one. Number of students is 4. 4. Between 29.5 and 39.5. So at the end, make sure you write down the title. Next, how to estimate the model value using histogram. Okay, so first step, identify the highest bar. So where is the highest bar? This one. Next step, you need to draw these two lines and then find the intersection point between the two lines. So the intersection between the two lines known as model value at x exists. So that one is model value. Next, how to interpret? Recall back. How to interpret mode? You must use the word most or majority of the students scored 65 marks in their statistics examination. Hands-on session. First question, you need to draw a less than or chief and estimate the median value. Next question, construct a histogram and estimate the model value. We stop here and next lesson we'll focus on measures of position. Assalamualaikum and da.